out on the V12 early in the morning. First light. More to just come out and test the the lights really. And see how they dip when you speed up and slow down. But also it's nice and quiet. Not too much traffic. Got the GoPro Hero 9 strapped to my chest. Hopefully the view is going to be okay. Not going out for too long. Just got up and realised the GoPro battery is only on 50%. And the spare one's flat. Not the best preparation. But we'll see how we get on. Bit of a gloomy start to the day, at least it's dry, but there are storms coming in later, and that's why I thought I'd get a quick ride in. I've got all four beams on the wheel on the front light, and I'll show you my lights set up on the back. I have mentioned before that the light set up on the back is not great, it's not very good at all, quite disappointing. Especially for the price you pay for a wheel. Should have a decent backlight on. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications of more videos. Quite a hill. This is Greenway Lane. We've just come off Ashcombe Road, or Ashcombe Lane. Let's see up here is a little bit of a white house, low cloud. Still climbing. Going up to the top of holding down. I was out yesterday on the wheels, so I can feel my calves a little bit today. A little bit, bit of fatigue setting in. The, um, it's all about getting conditioned on the wheel, making sure you can ride as much as possible. Condition your legs. So where you make contact with the wheel in between your legs, normally on the sort of calf shin area, the uh, the bones will get a little bit sore, the shin bone especially. But once you've done it a few times, it gets conditioned and you get used to it. dark up here amongst the trees. A bit misty. This is the light setup I've got on the V12. It's got a flashing light down there. Just a little clip on one. So you press and hold for one and then the flasher. And this one's just a bike light on a tilt which I think is quite effective front light seems pretty good as you can see it's probably 15 yards beam and you can certainly see that in the distance so with the app on the phone you can adjust the lights that's the top one I think that's both of them oh sorry that was the bottom one and that's the full beam that bottom, that bottom one is less shiny in your face if you're driving
on the InMotion app, you can see there, you can actually lock the machine. So that'll stop anyone riding it. That's the light switch which is there. Keep pressing it. <laughs> it's the horn. Press it. Sorry, I keep missing it. That's it. That's the horn. And you've got all the settings as well for the wheel. So you can change quite a few things. The thing I was mentioning on another video was the split mode, which is this one, and the, the speeding and the braking, and that adjusts the tilt and the acceleration for braking and uh, when you're going fast, acceleration. So the 90% speeding. Um, I was recommended it by a guy on YouTube called Wrong Way. He's quite an aggressive dry, uh, rider, but to be honest, I haven't really noticed, noticed that much difference, but we'll see. And the braking is supposed to be a bit more reactive. So there's quite a few settings you can change in there. You can change all the lights on the side, the LEDs, if you wish to. Keep the sky on your mind